What's up, everybody? Welcome to the K-Pop Kimchi Podcast, your number one podcast for girl groups with the number one fanboys. I'm your host, Justin Turnell, with my co-host, Brian Limper, and we are in the madness right now. We are indeed the in the madness. madness of everything. Yeah, and so late March Madness is going on right now. KPK March Madness is going on right now. He did right now. Speaking of, let's go check out. Let's see how we're doing. Who's ahead? We're on our final four, and our teams are Inmix and Itzy, who are now currently tied 50-50. Ooh. And then we have Twice versus La Seraphim, with Twice winning 55-45. to 45. Ooh, pretty, So both of them are very close. Pretty close, pretty close. The winners are going to go on to the championship, and whoever wins is the champion. It's a pretty good Final Four. Kind of don't remember who we had, but the only, I think we had La Seraphim and Twice going against each other. So The only number one seed not in the group anymore is Idol, who actually lost to Inmix. Wow, good job, Inmix. Shout out to Inmix, who in the other weeks won like decisively against Idol and then against New Jeans. Wow. That's like got to be the most impressive tournament run ever. Which has got to be a come up because I sent a picture to Justin the other day, and the first year we did this, they were an eight seed play in spot. Yeah. Against Pixie and they lost. Yeah, they were not good. And then I don't remember who they faced last year, but they lost the first round last year, and now they're like the literal Cinderella number three seed with all the one seeds right now. Like me beating all the good teams. Well, good for Enmix. They earned it. Will we have a changing of the guard? I know. Is twice just gonna or win? Or is twice just gonna win again? <laughs> they could. What if it really just comes down to like twice in Inmix? It's just like, oh. I don't know. Just JYP supremacy. Just twice. Well, I mean, 75% chance, so. Yeah, it is. I Uh, mean, I don't know. I wouldn't wouldn't be surprised, but at the same time, could be somebody new. There was some actual upsets. I don't remember what they're off the top of my head. Well, Inmix, for one. That's really crazy. There were a couple upsets that I wasn't expecting in the thing, so that's kind of cool. You always like to see that. Yeah, and we usually didn't. Just those. like Real March Madness. Yeah, and there's already been a lot. Shout out to Texas A&M for not being the SEC teams that lost today oh or yesterday. There was a lot. The lower seeds. Maybe the key was they were the lower seed going into the game, and that's what they needed to win. Yeah, true. A little bit of the pressure was off. Yeah, March Madness. Pretty cool. We also had some super fun stuff to try today. We're taking it back to the start. Yeah, so... How much is in this? Oh, it's not. It's literally not even that much. Yeah, it's like not at all. It's like 15. So we all know we are a nice and free energy drink uh, a podcast. We literally have a sign in the studio. It's nice and free. But I did find the sparkling ice, which is like a flavor water you can get at Walmart, that has caffeine in it but has no sugar. And I bought them before I realized there's niacin in them. And it's like 15%. But they've been like sitting in my refrigerator for two weeks now. And I told Justin he could try them. But then I'm like, you know what? I'll try them too, because why not? Who cares? It's not going to hurt me. One little shot's not going to hurt me. I think that's well, what... Well, and what we learned is you're actually, like, that whole thing is, a, like, a million times better, so I'm sure... Oh, yeah. So, for anyone who's wondering, I think I said it last week, but I got my results back from my doctor, and without drinking the niacin, my liver enzymes are, like, fine. Like, normal. So, a little bit is okay. Yeah, so... This and is these, celebratory, you and know? And these literally total have 15%. And they have five calories. So... This one's blue raspberry. Sparkling. I don't know if you ever had the flavored. It's blue. It's a good sign. If you've ever had the like flavored waters, but they're actually pretty good. So let's see what this. Wow, looks it smells like. delicious. Blue raspberry. Here you go. It's pretty good. It's actually not terrible. It's not bad at all, actually. For being a wow, in sugar free, right? Zero sugar. Um, basically sparkling water plus caffeine is what it is. So that's kind of cool. Well, I mean, it's not like a ton of caffeine. It's seventy milligrams of caffeine, oh, but still, it's better than nothing. Yeah. That's pretty good. Maybe we were just having ones that were just a little too much of everything. Like, maybe. 200 plus caffeine, 200 plus nice. Let's try this other one here. So it's black raspberry. There's only three flavors available, so I just got all of them. Ooh, that's good too. That's pretty tasty. These Robin pretty wow, good. Wow, that's pretty good. That kind of reminds me of the, uh, what are the popsicle things that are in like the plastic they, oh, yeah, like the ice kinda, pops? Yeah, ice pops, that's what it is. All right, we got one last one. I might as well get them all down row, you know. Woo! Make them over work once, just once, you know. This one's strawberry citrus. After this is actually... Eight Red Bulls. This one actually is just... Uh, strawberry citrus sounds that like That sounds it. delicious. Oh, we're good. And then Justin can drink the rest of these. It's not going to drink anymore. That's, like that's pretty, pretty good, too. 
All these were like very solid, pretty good. I wish I did not have nice in them because that would be a very I know, good if it was energy like, drink. Just literally, could we not just take out that fifteen percent? <laughs> yeah, that's way better than two hundred eighty percent we normally yeah. get. But some still, of those are really wild. I'm not gonna drink a bunch of them, you know, just in case. Yeah. Mm. But our second treat we have here. Oh man. I don't know if you guys know about the whole space candy, like dehydrated or freeze dried candy craze going on right now. But Justin loves sour, sour gummy worms. And I love them. These are like freeze dried ones. I were at my local game store and he had to get a binder, so I bought them. Yeah. Eight dollars for these things. It's a, it's, it's kind of oh. pricey. Really, pretty pricey. But we always said we we're gonna try them, and we never have. So why not now? They look like Cheetos. As I was gonna say, it probably just like it's probably. I feel like it tastes like cereal, right? Oh wow, they're like really puffed. All right, so we're trying them. Let's see what it tastes like. Smells like, I don't even know. No, it's like, it's like cereal, kind of. A little almost uh, softer. It's a little sour. It is. No? I am done. <laughs> no, it tastes like the gummy worms. It is weird. It's like chips. It's like candy. Cheetos puffs. Yeah, it's just like big Cheetos puffs. Not bad. Don't know if it's worth eight bucks. No. Let's just buy... A normal bag of gummy worms for like one fourth of that? Oh gosh. I'll have one more. I love the normal ones. I mean, these taste just like it. I had the Skittles once, and they just tasted like. This one kind of looks like a normal one. Yeah, he looks like. They yeah. kind of taste like Fruit Loops. Yeah. With like a little more sour. Which is what this says. Do they really eat these in space? Why can't they just take the normal ones in space? Also. Alright, these three drinks are gonna drink themselves. <laughs> Shout out to all the people. Yep. That listened to our Exxon episode. Yeah, you guys are awesome. And by that, I mean mostly India. That's sick. Shout out Arya. Shout out to you guys. It's pretty cool. Yeah, thank you very Glad much. Glad you liked it. That was very dope. Well, I'd say if you really want to try them, they're not bad, but I don't know if I'd ever get these sour alien worms It starts again. with like freeze dried, and then once you start chewing it, it just gets like mushy. But... Yeah, so there you go. That was an exciting uh, 10 minutes of us eating things and drinking things. It has been 10 minutes, hasn't it? On the dot, almost. A little lower. Also, Purple Kiss's comeback, BBB. Wow. Watch our reaction video to that, because that's the greatest wow. thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So good. Blows my... I mean, we usually have different opinions from people, and I get it, and it's okay. But this was one where I really did not understand where the people were like, I just didn't like this. I thought that song was, like, perfect. I thought it was I perfect. I didn't see it either. Like, I mean, it's fun. Like, sure, it's not like a dark, like, witchy concept. I guess if you, like, want that, then... But, like, neither is Seven Heaven. Like, I don't understand yeah, what your problem I, is. And, like, they're showcasing other talents in, a, in, like, a good way. Super fun. It's, like, makes know. sense. It's not, like, the weird weekly where they, like, kind of completely flipped it on its head. But... Yeah. I thought BBB was, like, the like incredible. Like, the beat's fun. The dance is fun. It's still like a heavy beat. Like I, I wish we could see it live. That's like my only regret is that they didn't have it a year ago and we saw them multiple times. Pretty Love crazy it. we did that. It also kind of had that old school like '90s hip hop vibe mm-hmm. kind of to it. Mm-hmm. it cool. I love. I really thought it was like perfect. I, and the whole album was very good. Ours are coming in the mail and we're gonna have a nice opening eventually. Yeah, I think we talked about it before, but we bought a good amount of them, so we're gonna open that. Hopefully, get my dosy cards. Like. Two normal ones and then four polka ones, right? Five. Five polka ones, so. And depending on how things go, I might just buy more. I mean, yeah, too, that's so. just the first first batch. Since there's only one. um, I don't think I've really got anything else. Well, I've got some photo cards, but that's about it. I completed my Dia collection, and I think I said before I completed my Dosi collection until these new ones came out. Yeah. So I'm pretty much set on those. Uh, you've got a bunch of so I Solgi. So, yeah, I am. Um, I ones. well, te- I have. All I've got the Solgi on ones. He's got the Solgi ones. Yeah, I got them all. I just need two more in the mail. But I have all of her out Korean album ones and Japanese ones. It was pretty sick. It was a. It was a pretty tough list to get, but um, I got them, and I mean, just waiting on those last two. So they will like probably those- chill out a little bit and then k- collect the edgies. I like how those packs as enlarge to show texture. I'm pretty sure the they were that big. they're like bigger than they the were that gummy big. worm. They were that. They were very large. Like, come on now, who made this pack? Like I get it when it's like Rice Krispies and it's like, something. Okay, like, yeah, that's it's just as big it's as the same that. Same exact size. Someone's lying. I can't believe that was eight. Okay, we had to try about eight bucks. That's like 
a dollar a piece. That's like almost. It really was. Yeah. That's like almost. That's like not even. That's more than half of the buffet. Yeah, it really was. That's not cool. Um, but we'll never get it again. It's okay. Yeah, that's pretty much all we got. We don't got too many updates. Haven't really done a ton since we did our last episode. No. There's a lot of comebacks happening, but none of them have really. We're like stuck. Come out. We are, we're, it's like getting to the point. We kind of started with Young Posse and Purple Kiss, and now we're going to get into more like next week. Yeah, so. so that's exciting. This week's episode is going to be something we haven't done in a while. Ooh. Because. We're going to watch some boy group music videos. Hey. Because we also haven't done this in a while. We are basically doing like kind of like a recap mm -hmm. of some of the songs that came out last month. Sure. Because we see like monthly recap episodes. We, and I'm like, you know what we haven't done in a while? We did. Watch some boy group stuff. So all of these boy group songs we're about to watch are all for songs by boy groups that came out last month in February. Okay. The only one I did not put on here is because I'm still traumatized by it, and that is P1 Harmony. Oh, thank God. I also tried to pick ones I have not heard. I haven't heard any of these. There's a couple that came out that I have heard. Yeah. I haven't heard any of these. So we're going to listen to these. Yeah, I don't, don't know anybody's None of these off so the top of my head. We might just talk about now. some random stuff while we watch these. But so this, this is, is first groups from Boy Story. Boy Story. They're from JYP. This song's called They Alpha. are? Yeah. I didn't know that. Are they just like a normal group? I guess. I I don't know. You're getting, you're watching it, man. You're just as good as mine. I don't know. Alpha. I've mentioned it on some other episodes, but there's a couple boy group songs that came out earlier this year that I was like a big fan oh, of. Oh, yeah. So I wanted to check these out from the newer groups and see if they are Early on, there was some really solid ones. So I want to see if any of these ones like live up to it. But yeah, I got eight songs here, so we can listen to these eight songs. I mean, this isn't bad. It's kind of a normal, more like tougher boy group kind of concept. I also don't know how many people in this group. I think there's five, maybe? Six? Whoa. What is this? Someone reacting to us, reacting to Young Posse? Sick. What is that? Anyway. Justin, our friend, our guest Justin is showing me our friend. Sends us a video of a guy reacting to our video, reacting to them. Don't really know what that means. I don't know. I'm very confused right now, but we're going to get back to the boys here. We'll check out that later. Yeah. Mm. This beat's actually pretty sick. I don't know if these are, I mean, it's a comeback, but I don't know how, like... I'm guessing it must have been from last year because yeah, it's kind of early in the season to have a first comeback in February and just debut at the beginning of the year. Right. This one's actually kind of cool, though. It's not bad. Mm. Whoa. Whoa. That was a crazy transition. I feel like I've, guys do look I feel like I've heard of Boy Story, though. Like I think I've seen the name before because I always just think of like Toy Story. But it's not. This really isn't too bad, though. Mm, 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 mm. I hope that guy's just hating on us hard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ooh, did I get oh my, my corn gosh. shirt on? I think he did. They're like burpees. This episode's for all of our boy group fans out there, because I know we, like... Please help us. We, uh... Kind of push them to the side a lot of the times. So this is our big uh, 2020 thing where we're going to listen to more boy groups, and we did. I did tell and someone the other day later. that was talking about K-pop that despite our listeners and other people's popular, popular belief, I actually do listen to a lot of boy group music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it may not seem like it, but I've got a lot of boy group music I listen to. Those are five or six, I think. Looks like I guess uh, six. Six. He's yeah. got that problem. There's always a guy. Did in the they back, get so that straight guy in the triangle, like the guy who's straight back? Okay, you know what? On a scale from Boy one to five, story. I'll give the song a solid three. Yeah, that's cool. Are they? Maybe they're Japanese. Maybe they're know. from somewhere else. I don't know. Next up, we got Ni, like I and I. 
With legit? I don't know who that is at all. But this looks like a pretty well-produced video. I know, like, two of these groups. Ooh, okay. okay. The best about doing this is, like, literally cannot comment on anything that's happening with these people. We have no idea who any of them I just don't know anything. Like, were these guys in Boys Planet? I don't know. I'm the guy from the card shop opening up the uh, Formula One race. I know. Max. Here's <laughs> another guy. There's a real dog. Yeah, shout out to the magic card that's a dog. Oh, yeah, dog me. And then the guy was like, ex ex trying to explain. I was like, yeah, I have no idea. I just saw it's a dog. I was like, that's a cool card. Shout out to the... Okay. Ooh, I like this. This is pretty cool. This is cool. I like this, like, them dancing in this just red room in the black suits. Yeah. Is it good to be legit? That's <laughs> our freaking life motto. Too legit. Good to, quit. to be legit. <laughs> that guy looks like a Walmart brand mark. There's dog meat right there. It really is. He's just hip hop beats. Let's go. Does he not look like him though? It's like a Walmart yeah, brand he, mark from NCT. He does look like Mark. Like very much so actually. What a compliment for him. I know, honestly, it is. Like, what a good thing. This part's sick. I know, it's so poppy. All right, so we got a response on our thing we talked about earlier. Apparently, that guy is the director of XXL, and he's reacting to people reacting to them reacting to his video. Oh, sick. Well, I'll have to watch that eventually. Hopefully, is this, hopefully is this we the same guy that did the first one? Yeah. Sick. Yeah. Is it weird Can that we our sue video him? has more views on it than his video I does? Know. Can we sue him for, like, money? <laughs> for using our like it, name engine and likeness? I don't know. That's pretty cool, though. That's cool. We'll have to uh, check it out later. I hope he's like, these guys are stupid. I know. <laughs> they suck. These guys are awful. Hey. Is that where all of our views are coming from? Ooh. Maybe. Break it down. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. You know what I can lie? This is pretty sick. I like this song. I and I. I and I. Probably saying that wrong. I apologize. E. Okay, it's probably like any. With Mark II over here. So they just have a lot of people. They really do. Holy crap. Ooh, I'm almost spilled that. Good to be legit. After, since this is a comeback, I'll have to check out their other music. I mean, it's pretty cool. If there's any I and I fans out there, too legit. Recommend me some too songs. Too legit to quit. Hey. Whoa. That's sick. That was cool. There's legit 10 of them? It's a lot of people in a group. That's a cool logo. That's an awesome logo. We'll see you at KCON. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Next up, we have High Teen by The Wind. Did you communicate with the net? Oh. So the best part about doing these is I kind of just look at the list of comebacks, and I have no idea if they're like... Bands or groups or soloists, yeah, yeah, or I just yeah. kind of put them on here. The Wind. What a crazy band name or group name. We are The Wind. I guarantee you we're going to see at least three of these groups at KCON. Oh, this year. oh, and the crowd's going to erupt. Oh, this eight group playlist. Oh my gosh, the bicycle choreo. It's rare, but it's beautiful when you do see it. I know. Bicycles just work in K-pop. You know, what's Zero Base One doing? It's a great question. What do they do? I bet they'll come back to K-Con. Yeah. Because, I mean, they've only got like a finite amount of years, right? Yeah, and we're already on like one. And I think Kepler came every year they were group. 
And Kepler's got a so little I think bit of time too. This is definitely a way different vibe than the other two songs. Oh yeah, to. this is more uh, literally the high teen vibe. <laughs> this is high high teen boy group. Even though like going to like the doctor. This honestly seems like a song that I would like hear from like Zero Base One. Is like, yeah, you know, that's what kind of made me think of it. I was like, what do they do? They had that very strange comeback, and I just have not heard anything since. What's Matthew up to? Yeah, what's Ricky doing? There's only five of these guys. The best is I have no idea except for the JYP group where any of these guys came from. I will say for all of them, it seems like there's definitely been effort put in. I mean, shout out to the boy groups who are usually always having some type of backing. Oh, I know. They just, like, do well. I like the cheerleader girls who made that, like, one song. <laughs> Everyone stay and die Ooh, okay. and they're single. Little dance break action. I forgot about that, and it's like with, and she's like, got got stuff getting sold to like YG. M most legit merch I've ever like, seen. A jersey. Like, uh, modeling. Like pins. Area. Yeah. Like literally better merch than most groups we like. I wonder what would happen if I soaked one of these gummy worms and just like the energy drink and let it sit there. <laughs> it's like regular show. It's gonna like explode and open a hole to the to space. Dun, dun, dun. Was this song called High Teen? Yes. I hope. <laughs> oh, there's aliens. They're getting sucked up by aliens. Don't look into the light. Mm, that popcorn looks good. With, With us? us? Hmm. I don't know. The next song we got is called Somebody by Amers. Okay, we know who that is, kind of. I have heard of them. Never heard the we, music. But we heard the name. This guy's got a Sonic Youth shirt on, though. No way he knows who they are. It's like in the Grand Canyon. I know. Or out going to Coachella. Rolling Stones. Shout out to B2B for having their like 13th year anniversary the other day. Or 12 year or something crazy. Nah, that's, like that. a, that's a long time. I don't really know what they ever do, but they're around all the time. Yeah, they've been around for a minute. They really have. I sure can tell you it's not. Just kidding, I can't tell you because the thing's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just saw one of the guys was taking a hiatus for him. <laughs> was he? And I was like, is that just retirement? <laughs> well, you can probably just take it. I'm trying to see if it... 12th year anniversary, my bad. Mm. It's really good. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to you, Peniel. Can't wait to have you on our show someday. Saw you guys twice. We did. Honestly, one of the best live shows I've ever seen. So good at singing. I feel like that was a very random but awesome couple days. It really was. Like the random cake on Chicago. This song's actually pretty sick. It's not bad. It's fun. Ooh. Boys just can like release this and it's like easy easy fans. Easy fans. It really is though. Like they really support him. We also saw where Leo Presents announced their latest tour they're doing. We did. And it's a boy group, Lucy. So everyone get hyped for that. Get hot for Lucy. Ooh. Not quite what we were thinking, but it's okay. Because everyone, like, we have more important things we have to do, and that's to vote. Well, not vote. Kind Put of in vote. your bid for secret number to come to Chicago. Yeah, everyone go vote for secret number to come to Chicago. Because that is a very realistic possibility that secret number is going to tour. Man, it's been a long time since I've seen like the helipad up here. I know, it's been a minute. A lot of people used to put stuff on here, but... Da -da 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 -da. 
Good job, uh, Amers. That's a pretty good song. That's not bad. But yeah, everyone go vote for Secret Number to come to Chicago. Put in your, um, not, it's not bid. What is it? I don't know what it is. It's something Your tithe. <laughs> but it's like, I guess regardless, they're going to come to six cities. So they'll be here sometime. Yeah. So good job, Secret Number. That was cool. We're super hyped for that. Whoa. We'll definitely be seeing them. I don't care where they're going. I will go see them. I mean, America. that's like a must see. Like you got That's to. like bucket list right there. Hyper Hyper Rhythm. That's a cool name. Whoa. Why are these like names better than actual group names? Next we have Insign. Okay, with well. With Funk Jam. This is a group that we've seen walking into Music Bank many times. Oh my gosh. Never heard anything from them. Funk Jam sounds promising. Hey. I was say, if we're going to guess, like, how good the song is be based off the title of the song, this seems like it has a lot I'd of I'd say, like, real good. A lot of potential. Mm, mm. This and Rod's Moto Garage. <laughs> <laughs> What's the lure behind that? There's a lot of guys in this group, too. Mmm. It's kind of crazy seeing a bunch of people in these because outside of Triple S, which we like can't really count. Yeah. It's been a long time since we've seen a girl group. It's like a big members. girl group. I don't really even know. Maybe like I guess like one? I guess like twice still is like nine. And Kep was like nine. Yeah. But other than that, you like don't really get many of the double digits. No. Not like at all. WJ Sin was. That was a massive group. Um, Eyes one was. I really don't even know any other. A lot of them are just like six member groups. Luna had a lot now. of people. Didn't oh yeah, Luna had a bunch. And now you just have a kind of like five six. Yeah, it seems like a lot of seven. Them then someone leaves. Six. Yeah. What a cool skate park. How old is that guy? I was gonna say, he looks like a youngin. Man, there's a bunch of these dudes. This song's not bad though, it's chill. Oh, Whoa. that plane just landed on the building. Definitely not as good as what the name of the song would have led me to believe. And so even the beginning, I was like, okay, here we go, and then it kind of uh, tailed off. Is there 10 of these guys too? Yeah, you definitely can't count Triple S. Like, because the only groups they've put out so far are like four, eight. It's like its own special thing. And then they're only like one thing they released as a group up to now is like ten. So yeah, can't really count them. But there's only nine. I don't know. They keep like moving around. <laughs> it's hard to tell. They're everywhere. <laughs> Although we are going to get the 24 song, so. We are, and we don't even know the last four people yet. We will have a song here soon that has all 24 of them. That's going to be like a record for most members in a group doing something. Like one time? Like what was NCT? I don't know if I really like this song. I mean, it's okay. Yeah, it looks like there's nine. Definitely, like I said, not as good as what. The uh, name would have led me to believe. Shout out to this other crazy company. Next, you have a group called Ace with My Girl. But Ace is actually like an older group. So. Yeah. Ooh. Be interactive. It's like picking up where we left off with the last video. Another CGI City. Whoa. Petflix. <laughs> is this just gonna have like animals? Oh I hope gosh. so. <laughs> this is wild. okay. They work for Petflix. Hey, I know why I know these guys. Why? They've got the one American song or I guess English song that I really like. But this is where the one guy's best friend is at. He's right there. From the drama we watched. Oh yeah, <laughs> you said it. We see them walking in the yeah, music bank. There yeah, he is. yeah, that is him. He had, different, he had very different hair, but I don't, it was also a while ago. I don't remember what his name is, but yeah, he's in this. 
But they've got like one really good English song that I really like. That guy's like extremely funny. He was great in that drama. Oh, Robot. He was really good. What was her English? Hold on, I'm looking up what the English song was. This is awesome. I'm not like a big fan of English songs, but this was good. Down, featuring Grey. That's what it was. That's cool. I know they've been around for a little bit. I've never really listened to their stuff. But... Right. Let's see, what was this guy's name? I just remember the guy from the, the show. Kim Byung-Kwan? Yeah, I don't remember. I mean, that's his name. But that's, like, that's like his actual name. But he was really great in the drama. I loved him. At least they got a guy in the group named WoW. Like W O W? Yeah. That's sick. What's up, wow? Good stuff, wow. That's crazy. Yep. Kim Beyond Kwan. Oh. Look, oh, there you go. He just searched himself on the computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's him. That'd be us if we looked ourselves up. <laughs> no. Unless you're the guy that made the video for Young Posse, then apparently. You never word with him. Then apparently we are somebody. We just need to reach out to him and interview him. We should, actually. If you're listening to this, come let's interview you. You're literally featuring us in your video for clout, so... <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> We're, like, getting you more views at this point. <laughs> That'll be $150,000. <laughs> that is super random. I forgot what video it was, but one time we did get a comment, or a couple, actually, from the person who, like, made the... The song for, I think it was, was it In Mix? Yes. Yeah, and they like talked to the us girl, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. They're like, oh yeah, we made this song. It was great. Hey. They're like, we're really, gra they're like, we're really glad you liked it. Make reaction videos, people. You never know who's out there watching. I, apparently people are watching. I just want to make a reaction video of people reacting to us reacting. I know, we need to watch that guy reacting to us react to it. <laughs> And be like, your move, buddy. I'm really interested to see what he says. I'll like, have to watch after this. They clearly hated it. I know, I was like, did we say anything mean? I did say it sounded like an ICP song, so hopefully he's all about that. Hey, Britt, you know, I wouldn't be sure if he was. Oh. It's like a sending. Wow, there. what a uh, strange change up to this music video. Yeah, what a weird turn for fans. They're angels. And butterflies. Taking off from PetSmart or whatever that Petflix. Yeah, where did that even come into play in this? It was just their like who they worked for. You know what? Shout out to like the video being fun though. <laughs> That's hilarious. What a cool background. So fun. It's dope. Good job, Ace. That's all any of us are. Amateurs. Charles Chaplin. Never heard anybody call him Charles before. I know. Next you have Cravity with Love or Die. Ooh. I have heard of Cravity before. Yeah, aren't I going on tour? Didn't we see them? Maybe. Dude, maybe gosh, right. do not ask me. No. I never know which boy group we saw at KCON. This is pretty intense, though. I feel like a World War II, like, crash plane site over there. At least the fits are on point. I just always love watching a music video. I never know who's a backup dancer, who's in the group. I know. How many guys are there? My gosh. I think there might be nine or ten of them, too. Dun, 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 dun. This actually sounds like it'd be a really sick, like, anime opening. I know, right? <laughs> like, I can see the Gundams flying around fighting each other in the sky. And, like, the nice grass blowing in the breeze. This song is actually pretty cool, too. Not bad. Cravity, yes. Was at Chicago. Okay. This guy's got a crazy uh, Batista belly button sun tattoo on his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm -mm. This song's pretty fun. 
It's really just been a lot of energy from the get-go. It has. Love it when the energy's cranked up and it doesn't turn down. Who's these high notes? That part's sick. Love or die. You know, I actually really like this song. Gravity's, yeah, very solid, though. Definitely a name I've least heard of. So right. Who's that? Right. Now it's raining. I'd be so mad if it was, like, time to do that. And, like, someone messed up the dance, you had to start over. Oh, yeah, it's I know. It's like, dude, it's, we're wet, we're soaked. Please get the dance right. This course is really catchy. Yeah, it's cool. This obviously seems like a song I'd hear from like Dreamcatcher or something. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. That's cool. Good job, Cravity. And you're like maybe 900 members. <laughs> this is Mont M O N T with the song I D G A F. I don't give a fook. You can just guess what that stands for. Oh, yeah. Whoa, this is awesome. That oh, is yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're banned. Okay. Tabasco sauce. Okay. Mm, mm. Okay, okay. This is dope. This is one course work for me, the best boy group song I've ever heard. This in my has life. potential. Boys, mm. what a good song! It was very solid. See, this is what we do at fans, we never would have known. This guy's taking a video. He like, works at the art studio. I know, I was gonna say, it's like a I don't even know what they call those people. The guy's like a uh, little tour guide. It's like taking him around the art museum. Oh, the keyboard guy's singing that. So it looks like they have three people. So it seems like. And then they just kind of have a guy filling in there to do the drawing part. Is this what Extraordinary Heroes was supposed to be? This is sick. Like, what a fun, awesome song. Mm-hmm. Run, escape your job. Get out of there. They better have like a group meet hug in the middle. Where's the group clapping? That's what I want to hear. I know. It's got to be coming. It's got to be coming. Just give us a nice little breakdown. Shout out to them like still putting out like K pop bands. I know. They really do. You'd think at some point to be like, you know what? Maybe this isn't working like I thought it was going to. Because people like it. 
more than just like a normal group, but they keep doing it. They keep doing it. That song was awesome. That was pretty sick. Mini album, man, they put a lot of stuff out. Mont, wow. Yeah, they obviously have been around for a minute. Let's look into them. Let's good go job, cool. Mont. There's some good songs in there. Yeah, oh gosh. Damn, 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 damn. That, that was, was a, a good That rip. was like a fantastic one to end on. Good job, uh, K pop boy group February comeback. I got one more song we can listen to real fast. Let's do it. Just because I know this came out like a couple of weeks ago, maybe. Mm. Definitely not in February. But the new six, my favorite boy group, TNX, had a new song come out. I did see that. Called Fuego. Wow, it's doing really good. Two days ago. Okay, so maybe it wasn't last week. That's close. <laughs> oh. But I did hear part of it. And I was like, man, these guys just only put out hits. Ooh. Like, these guys are, like, super slept on, even though they got a lot of views on their video, but... Yep. They should deserve to be, like, getting a bunch of hype. They only put out bangers. Too bad that's not who Leo is bringing. Oh, my gosh, that'd be so sick. And also, yes, for anyone wondering, there is six members in the group, so the other guy must have came back. Couldn't tell you which one it was, but <laughs> there was five for a little bit. He is indeed back. Good job, P Nation. Like, way to put out bangers. Mm, 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 mm. Cause I think they're the only actually like, group group. Yeah. Yeah, I can't think of anyone else. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that's sick. Didn't, didn't. Yeah, I don't know if this is like an actual like, little EP or it's just a single to look. But, this song's sick. It's very cool. Ooh. Why this beat so awesome? Because if it's like a whole EP, oh, it's just a single. I was going to say, all the EPs they put out have like awesome B-sides on them. Right. They're all so good. Little known fact, they had the superior song called Love or Die. Yeah, that's like all I kept thinking about. <laughs> this song is indeed Fuego. Fuego Caliente, some might say. <laughs> mm. Yeah, TNX, come on tour here in America. Possibly a K-Con group? Who knows? That'd be awesome. I kind of thought at one point every boy group in K-pop was at K-Con. <laughs> you know? There was many. You were right. <laughs> Honestly, even girl groups, there's like... There's a lot. A ton. k brings a lot of people. I also knew k was like a big thing. Like, the biggest K-pop thing all year. But when you're actually like there in it, I was like... It's a massive... This is a ton of people. This is a <laughs> massive... Everything is massive there. Especially when everyone lined up to see like... Uh, XG on the little stage. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. There are so many people. Like, I'm talking, like, more people than a lot of, like, the concerts we go to. This is a lot of people at KCON. Can't wait to do it again. Now that we know where Target is. Yeah, I know. And then you actually go to the Staples Center, and it's, like, packed. And we get to see Kobe's statue this year, where they spelled names wrong on it. <laughs> yeah, we were, like, looking for it last year. We were, like, year. where's Kobe at? Year, I swear they did, and they didn't, but now they do. That was dope. Good job. Too. They really do only have like good songs though. Every time they show me one, it's always good. Yeah, they're real good. But yeah, there we go. We got our fun boy group episode out of the way. We found some cool songs that we enjoyed, so that's always a plus. That is a plus. That's what we do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you know anything about these groups, come comment in the comment section on YouTube and tell us. Help how, us out, please. We're yeah, trying our best. What we're missing out on, how much you dislike us. But... <laughs> Besides that, I forgot, because I was so excited about these drinks, to do our first segment of the week, so you get to have the double segment oh, yeah. in the show. So the one we normally do, Not What You Came For, where you know recommend a band or song or something that has nothing to do with K-pop to you, yeah, um, is going to be now, and I'll follow it up with my Idol of the Week. There you go. And the group I'm going to recommend is a really old school, like, metalcore quote emo band called Poison the Well. 
There we go. Very throwback group. That's one of the godfathers of like early kind of screamo metalcore music that everyone looks up to. But they're a really good group. Got a lot of really good songs. The first song I've actually heard by them was called Ghost Chant. And it's... I don't really know how to explain it. But it's a really good song. But they have a very, very good album called The Opposite Side of December, A Season of Separation. And that entire name. album is like nine songs. The whole thing's not even 30 minutes long. But really? it's just banger after banger after banger. Yeah. It's very, very good. I would say it's easy listening, but if you don't like screaming, it probably isn't easy listening for <laughs> not you. Not quite easy listening. Uh, but that came out in 1999. Wow. So it's definitely a lot older, I guess, group than what I've normally recommended. Hardcore punk, apparently, is what people think it is. I don't know if that's true or not. But I'll put in the song clip, Poison the Well. Super great, old school group. And uh, let's see. I think my out of the week is probably going to be Dosey this Whoa. week. Whoa. Because Purple Kiss just had a comeback. Yeah. I have watched a lot of fan cams and videos. That only makes sense. So We've pretty much watched congrats. every single thing they've had so far. Yeah, I want some more like content. Need more content. Like, content to go do stuff. RBW. But that's what I got. That's pretty good. Poison the Well and Dosey. What a good great stuff. combination. I know. Describes my life, honestly. Only makes sense, right? What do you got? My Idol of the Week is a group that we've seen a lot, but they just announced a tour, and it's A Day to Remember, one of my favorite bands of all time. Uh, probably one of the only bands who can actually get me to put on the Moshin shoes again and go out and see them. Uh, they're coming to St. Louis in June, I think, so I'm really excited to go see them there. And they're actually with some other bands that we liked back in the day, too, like Four Year Strong and Stores So Far, who I forgot existed, but they are going on tour. But yeah, A Day to Remember is amazing. Pretty much like legends from that kind of scene. We've seen them at Warp Tour. We've seen them on tour in all sorts of places. But honestly, pretty excited to go see them again. Uh, what I would recommend is the album Common Courtesy, way back from 2013. Uh, just has a lot of good songs on it and is one of my favorites. But yeah, go uh, check out Data Remember. Go see them on tour. Go with us on tour to St. Louis. Everyone come with us. And out of the week, I have no idea, so let's go to the Instagram saves that I never look at. Oh, duh. It's, uh, I'll just pick Yuki because Purple Kiss came back. Nice, there you go. My freaking, one of my favorite idols of all time right now, Yuki from Purple Kiss. Doki, doki. Just go listen to freaking BBB. Go listen to the whole album. Go, st- go EP, just, whatever just, it is. Su- just support, please. Just support Purple Kiss. It's super good. There's a lot of really good B-sides. They always have the best B-sides. I love, but... I love that song so much. But yeah, Yuki is my out of the week. Good Go job. Go buy their albums and stream their stuff so they can win an award. We will let you know hopefully next week who we got. Yeah, hopefully those get sent, like, sent like, out. I mean, hopefully. I ordered them a week ago. Yeah, same. I don't really know where they're coming from, but we will have albums eventually. I know that. I know mine's coming from Choice Music in LA. So. Yeah. I don't know. I think mine's supposed to be here next week. Hopefully. I don't know. know. Just got them off Amazon. So, we'll We'll see. see. We'll see. Mm. Yeah, what a fun episode. Always love the boys. Packed full of exciting times for everybody. Now we gotta go watch this video of this guy looking at us, looking at his video. Oh, yeah. Inception. But That's real Inception right there. Yeah. Yeah, until next week, we will continue to look forward to Island 2. Oh, yeah. That's and coming. we will talk to you in about a week or so. So stay on your faves. Love you guys. Peace. Later. Peace.